beautiful scenery with panoramic vistas. A great place to walk around and get lost. There's water sports everywhere. Endless bean shows to enjoy. Plenty of history in the old town and good old fashioned bass culture. This is San Sebastian. Soaking up the views in San Sebastian truly was a lot of fun. There's so many things to get lost in and see and experience some of the culture. So let's talk about why most people come to San Sebastian. And that is the pinchos. Small dishes that are more extravagant than tapas. And they are amazing. We love this place. Let's talk about food. Here's our short list to get you started into the world of pinchos. Start the day with a cup of coffee and a beautiful view of the bay at Cafe de la Concha. Then head to Bar Zabaleta, the Spanish tortilla. Probably the best Spanish tortilla you'll have anywhere in the world. For two euros, you get a pincho size and 13 euros for a huge Spanish tortilla. Gandarias. Go here if you like steak skewers and french fries or a delicious grilled beef sirloin on bread. Bordaberry. You have to be adventurous to go to this one because the pig ear is uh, actually quite delicious. Full disclosure, we were both very afraid to get this, but after trying it, we were quite blown away and we would definitely get it again. Afuero Negro. The best sliders you will ever have in your life. Go and get 20 of them. <laughs> Just kidding, but get a lot. Walk in to Lavinia and order your five euros per slice piece of cheesecake. You won't regret this choice. We almost bought an entire cheesecake. That's what we recommend. Get the whole cheesecake. So besides the pinchos, there's a ton of stuff to do here. We went out one afternoon, uh, expecting a quiet walk, and we stumbled upon a youth regatta. It was so cool. There was so many young ones putting up sails in all these boats and heading out to race. And we would have never seen this unless we just went out and explored. So get out and explore, and who knows what you'll stumble upon. So our journey continued as we made our way around La Concha Bay, taking the boardwalk. As we got to the end, we ran into Mount El Gelado. This place is beautiful. There's a little train station at the bottom where you can take a train to the top, and it is so neat. It's a 100-year-old train made out of wood, and it's crickety and old and authentic. It's called the Funicular Railway. It takes you to the very top of Mount Ugeldo. At the top, there's an amusement park, stunning views of the city, La Concha Bay, and Santa Claro Island. A round trip ticket is three euros and 75 cents for adults. And for children, two euros and 50 cents. And it opens at 10 a.m. I know what you're thinking. When we're so used to eating pinchos at every moment of the day, you're gonna get hungry. But don't worry, there's a bar and a restaurant at the top with amazing vista views. 
so you can enjoy a cold beer or just a snack. Let's take a stroll into the old town, undoubtedly the most visited place in St. Sebastian. And for good reason. The buildings are filled with history and character, as well as the people. Lots of culture, good times, and friends getting together. And you might stumble upon a group of people singing and playing instruments from the streets and having a good time. Sometimes you never know what you're gonna get until you get out and explore. So we hope you enjoyed a tiny taste of what St. Sebastian has to offer. We absolutely loved it and we would definitely go back. So what's next? Well, follow us on our journey to our next location. We'll give you a hint, Roja.